What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got a special video to share with you guys. Uh, I'm sure many of you got this email from DLT Trading uh, that they were bringing back the XM18 three and a half inch no choil slicer. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, this is one of the most popular configurations that has ever existed on a Hinder XM18 and it is a DLT trading exclusive. The last time that they did this was in 2017, which means this has never had the triway on it. I did a video a while back saying, you know, for anybody interested in Hinderer knives, if you're new to this, the no choil slicer is probably the very best variant to start with. And for people who have been into Hinderer knives for a long time, they'll tell you, a lot of them will tell you that this is their favorite variant. So this is very popular. Um, I started this video the moment they went live, which was just minutes ago. Um, I am very much considering picking up one of these for myself. So I figured if I'm going to shop through this and I'm going to you know, look for one for myself, I might as well do a video. Many of these variants will go quickly. If you are interested in picking one of these up, there are links down in the description. My goal is to get this video out as quickly as possible. So you're probably seeing this about 30 minutes after they went live. But yeah, if you are, this is going to be a video for Hinderer fans. I am a gigantic Hinderer fan. A lot of my content is focused around Hinderer knives. So of course, I'm going to cover this absolutely. Um, I am an affiliate through DLT Trading. What does that mean? It means if you use one of the links to pick up one of these knives, um, I, uh, I benefit from that. My channel benefits from that. So just full disclosure there, I want to make sure that you guys know. All right, so let's go ahead and get into it here. So some interesting things. They have working finish. They've got stone wash. They've got uh, anodizing on the back. Uh, you know, some of them are blue, some of them are uh, uh, bronze, they've got battle blue, battle bronze, I think they even have battle green. Um, you can see here right now, we've even got weird stuff like purple, I'm going to try and I'm just looking through here real quick, I want to scan through and see all the different colors. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is go through and highlight certain ones that I think are interesting. So, I mean, obviously, the ones with uh, uh, black and stone wash and just no anno, you know, a lot of times people like stuff like that. But the weird stuff, uh, and by weird stuff, I mean, you know, like some people, I, I'm, I'm immediately attracted to the stuff that is um, the sort of jade green. And then this one's in working finish. And you can see on the other side, we have this beautiful um, sort of battle blue finish. And uh, yes, periodically, you can get matching um, tie scales for that. So the slicer grind without the choil, you know, why is that so popular? Well, the choil delete means you can just make use of that extra cutting edge. And, you know, the the design, I think a lot of people that, uh, you know, really, really enjoy this design enjoyed it in the ZT0562, which is absolutely a legendary model and has this exact same blade shape. But this knife is the actual real version of that exactly. Um, it has the uh, G10 front scale, the titanium locks that you can see here. Here's the difference between the anodized tumbled and the, an the, the last one you saw was battle blue. This is the anodized tumbled blue that will match with the stone wash. So if you get an anodized, uh, you know, lock side and, and uh, it's a tumbled blade, then it's going to be a little bit more uh, reflective. These are all in M390, which is, of course, going to make everybody happy. And for anybody who doesn't know what's the triway pivot system, it is essentially the pivot system that allows you to, at will, change out between bearings uh, or uh, phosphor bronze or nylon. Trying to find one here with a bronze lock side. Let's take a look at maybe one. Let's take a look at this purple one here real quick. I'm interested to see. I bet this is all tumbled. Purple G10 is a little bit rare for uh, for Hinderer. They definitely don't do that very often. Give you guys a close up of that purple G10. Then yeah, on this one, the non uh, or the I'm sorry, the lock side is just going to be plain tumble. Let's get a look at the triway pivot system here for anybody who doesn't know. It comes with all this stuff. It'll come pre-installed with bearings, but you have the option to switch out nylon and phosphor bronze. And then it includes the steel spacer that you can include in there if you don't have the bearings as that makes everything work together. I have owned so many of these knives and I've modified them with the factory hardware that everything always fits together. Everything's always great. I'm always very happy with my experience with these knives. Let's take a look at the, well, maybe maybe this gray one. I'm trying to find one that probably has a battle green side. Well, probably, I wonder if it says down here in the information. Let's scroll back up, take a look at some of these up here. And maybe this one, that's battle blue, battle blue, battle blue, battle bronze. Let's take a look at a battle bronze real quick so you guys can get a look. 
The uh, there are in my estimation there are probably more that are plain tumbled than are with these anodized lock sides. So if you're interested in getting a rare, I mean, essentially this is this is a variant that's going to go quickly. It's super popular, and I'm not trying to hype. This is I'm I'm literally just repeating facts from history. This is what happened with this knife. Certain variants coming from a Hinderer fan who likes to intentionally seek out odd variants and exclusives. Um, you know, I I saw what happened with the original No Choil Slicer. This thing is popular. It simply will go quickly. So if you were already interested, if you were saving up for a hinder and you're just waiting for that one to come along, for a lot of you, it's going to be that one. But, you know, don't, obviously don't let me, you know, push you into something that you weren't interested in in the first place. I just know that there are a lot of people who watch my channel who like stuff like this. Man, that's beautiful. Honestly, you know, you wouldn't think brown and black would go together, but it really looks nice there. Battle bronze, battle bronze, battle green. There we go. That's one of the ones I wanted to highlight. This is brand new. <laughs> this is something that I have not seen. So essentially, that lockside color that you see on the vintage series XM18s, uh, that is, I believe, more or less what they've applied here. This is cool. It gives it that vintage look without you know you having to have. If you don't like the Parkerized 01 blade, which is what comes on the Vintage Series, and you don't like the wood scales, right, then you can pick this up in this exact configuration. It looks like for 25 bucks more, um, you can uh, pick this up with a standard uh, M390 blade. I say standard. You can pick it up with an M390 blade and a standard G10 scale, you know, in the color of your choice. It looks like they probably have a few of these. I don't know exactly how many, but I, I can almost guarantee that the battle green variants will go quickly. Um, let's see here, blue anodized, blue and black. I'm, I'm also, you guys have to remember, I'm also shopping for myself right now. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm trying to give this information and the back of my mind is like, oh, that looks nice. Oh, I, I maybe I'd like that one, right? Um, I've got two hinders right now, and normally I never have more than two, and I, you know, I'll, I'll sell and swip, switch out for something else. But I'm gonna take a look at this gray one here just for me. Um, every time I buy a hinder, I buy it with the intention of swapping out hardware. I kind of like my plain Jane look. I kind of like the tumbled titanium. For anybody who doesn't know, their tumbling does have slight reflectivity to it, and that shows in the uh, lock side. So what you're seeing here, I can tell you from experience, if you've never handled one of these, there is quite a bit more reflectivity in the tumbled finish and the, uh, on both the blade and the frame than what you're seeing here in the picture. If you don't like that, the more matte, some of these, by the way, guys, uh, I found that, you know, while it looks like the blade, the blade might be off center here, it's probably just the slight angle. You can see on the right side of that standoff, there's a little bit less material showing and a little bit more material and some of the lock side showing on the left side of the standoff, which means the camera or the picture was taken at a slight angle. And that's not necessarily the an indication of exactly where the blade is centered on all of these. 99.9% .9 of the time, the blade will come absolutely centered. I've just become accustomed to picking up on those little details when I shop at DLT. Um, I'll be providing links for all of these. Well, essentially the link that allows you to go to this page and look at what I'm looking at here so that you can pick... <laughs> the battlefields are already out of stock. I knew that was going to happen quickly so that I, I, I didn't highlight those. That's why. Um, but... Yeah, uh, I'm going to be linking this page and then you guys can go through and shop for the one that you're looking for. Um, what's another good one that I should probably highlight here? I'm just, I'm, I'm attracted to, even though I know that I'm going to switch out the scale, I am immediately attracted to this blue and black layer G10. I've always liked that. I think we've actually kind of looked at this one already, but it, my, in, my instinct was to click on that. Um, there are, the ones that I always notice that go the fastest... I, I highlight the weird ones. The jade goes really quickly. I think the gray ones and the uh, purple ones tend to go pretty quickly. I think the blue and black do too. Um, a lot of times what I see left over is the um, the the FDE or the coyote scales, right? Take a look at this. Oh, that's just working finish. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at this red one. I, a lot of times I'll pick up a red one just because I like how the red G10 looks. Um, what's the difference between working finish and stone wash? The working finish appears to be more concrete and it is also applied. If you get a non-anodized side like this, same thing with this, so if, uh, the lock side. So if you don't like 
the stone wash. If you don't like the reflectivity, essentially, um, then uh, you wouldn't, you'd want to go with something like this. It's much more subdued. With M390, it doesn't really matter what the finish is. I mean, yeah, the more polished it is, technically, it might help resist corrosion just a little bit more. But M390 has like 20% chromium in it, you know. So if that's your foundation of reasoning, don't worry so much about that. Get the finish you want. M390 is going to be just fine in terms of corrosion resistance. You're not going to have to deal with anything like that. Um, there's a nice... Boy, guys, this might be... I, I hope people don't rush to grab this one now, but this might be the one that I pick up for myself just because I want one in Jade. And I, I can only put my tie scale on one at a time, so maybe this is a good opportunity for me to pick one up in the finish that I like, which is Tumbled, and then just a Plain Jane Lockside and that Jade. I hope they have a lot of those because that might be the one that I pick up. Another thing that I think is worth pointing out here, let's find one that I haven't actually clicked on yet. Bronze anode blue, bronze anode with black G10, blue anode with let's blue anode with orange. Here, let's let's pick a real colorful one here. All right, so this is orange, and it, people like orange and blue, right? Orange G10. On the other side, we've got a uh, tumbled uh, blue, right? So if you're looking at that and thinking that's super colorful, I'd like to add more color to it. You can actually choose hardware sets that will not come pre-installed on the knife, but will come, you know, separately that you can install yourself. So you've got blue, bronze, purple, green, working finish, battle blue, battle bronze, black, brass, and copper. This is why I like Hinter knives. Not only are you getting, it's a US made knife. It sounds like the home shopping network. This is, I don't have a script guys. This is what, I sound like this is this is just a hinderer fan getting excited about hinderer stuff and really enjoying when other people get into this um, uh, Essentially the reason I like this because you're getting a USA made knife that has premium materials the functionality is excellent You can get the pivot system you want you can get the finish you want you can get the scale color You want and then you can get the hardware you want and you can customize it You can get more or less of any in fact I'll include the parts section, you know by itself so you can go through and pick and choose if this you know if you if you're watching this video right now because You want to pick up a hinder you want to pick up your first hinder you want to get exactly what you want um, And then you want there's a plain bronze standardized one. Let's look at that um, and then you want to customize it with parts, you know, that you feel like uh, sort of match up with your personality. Here is the bronze anodization um, that is not a battle bronze. So this is the more reflective bronze. And yes, it is reflective. You can see there with bronze anno or with any anno, especially the more reflective stuff, it really does pick up the oils in your skin. So after you touch it, it can look a little bit purpley. I kind of like it. If I was going to pick up an anodized version of this knife personally, I would pick up the uh, bronzed anodized side, non-working finish, and go with a, sta a tumbled finish blade uh, because I like how the bronze looked. I've, I've actually uh, um, owned a couple of hinderer knives with bronze anodized lock sides, and I, I've always really, really enjoyed it. I'm just kind of scanning to see what else is here, what else I have not clicked on. I know you guys are like, click on this, click on that. But remember, there's a link down below. You guys can literally just, it's in the description, right at the top of the description. You can click on it, and it'll take you right to this page i think i think i know what i want i think i've shown at least this initial image of everything that is currently available they they i did talk with dlt before i did this video they have a lot but they do expect these to go quickly so this first you know day or so there's going to be a bunch you know that are that are just gone um, but if it's something you're interested in, it's not one of these where it's going to be gone in like 20 seconds or like, a, you know, a, a few hours. There, there's definitely going to be a few here. They made sure and, and got a ton of these. Um, but once these are gone, like I said, the last time they did this was 2017. This is a very popular model. People like these. People are interested in them when they're new. They're interested in them when they're on the secondary market. Um, it is a performance a, a very performance oriented version of the XM18 with there not being the choil you just don't have to worry about the hand positioning and all that you can just make use of the flipper tab and the blade and just enjoy it for what it is I think this is pretty much all this video needs to be I wanted to inform people who were not already signed up for the newsletter on DLT I am because I want to know when new hinder stuff comes out for myself but for people who didn't have that or if you're not familiar with DLT trading, uh, this is my favorite place to shop for hinderers. 
They have the best selection. They have the most organized website. They have the biggest selection of uh, customizable parts, right? Their website's very easy to navigate. Um, so if you don't shop at DLT, it's worth taking a look at their website. And if you're into Hinder Knives, I would suggest you sign up for the newsletter um, so that or the notifications through their website so that you can be informed when this kind of stuff comes out. But yeah, for anybody who wasn't aware or didn't get the newsletter, I made this video so that you could become aware because I know that there are going to be people who are interested in this. For people who aren't Hinder fans, sorry if you sat through a whole episode of this, but this is something that I wanted to take the time to do. Guys... That's going to be pretty much it for today's video here. I hope that you were at least mildly entertained by it. If you were, please leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives. I promise things other than hinder knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, uh, please subscribe. Uh, that would mean the world to me. Um, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.